Hello Virgo, welcome to your He Said, She Said reading. This is for December 1st through 15th, 2018. Thank you for joining us. Uh, please say hello to Richard. Hello Virgo. For your, uh, well before I get into the oracles, I'll, I'll quickly mention that we have that $35 special at the moment for your own personal He Said, She Said reading. And uh, it's $35 for 20 minute reading with both Richard and I. You can email me gypsyinsights at gmail.com if you are interested. Let's take a look at your oracle cards, Virgo. From the Dragon Fay Oracle, you've pulled the card of Melusine, loving who you are. Now with this one, it is an energy of loving who you truly are. Self-worth, self-love. What I get around this is there may have been a part of you that you feel is not suitable to be shown to others, particularly in romantic relationships. It may be that you feel that this part of you is unacceptable and lacking in beauty. However, this part of you in being denied is causing pain and guilt to surface within relationships where there need be none. Virgo, you deserve to be loved for all of you, for the parts that are claws and thorns, for your lines and your grief, for your irritability and your sadnesses. So it is about being accepted for who you are, warts and all really is what I'm getting. You may be facing or have faced rejection from others, uh, perhaps due to uh, expectations. Being, it's about being thought of as unacceptable in some way. How, it's more a view of how you, you, you feel underneath underneath it all. You may have struggled to fit into an environment. It may be that for you it's about finding people who are going to accept you. Now from the Vintage Wisdom Oracle you've pulled the card of transition. The presence of this card indicates a change and transition be between two chapters of life. Inevitable endings and new beginnings and the integration of a more expanded cycle involving letting go of the past to make way for new growth and transformation. Okay, so coming out of perhaps a, a time where you found it difficult to accept that part of you, which, which maybe is not, uh, not something that you viewed as, I want to say, acceptable by others. So we'll see where this goes. I'm going to be using the, the after tarot for your energy, Virgo. I've already meditated on your energy, so let's cut these cards. And we'll focus in on the energy of the person that you are focused on here. What they bring to the table. Their flaw. How they feel about you, Virgo. How you feel about them. The strengths of the relationship. The weaknesses of the relationship. The potential for a healthy relationship crossed by any roadblock and the potential outcome. And remember this can go, uh, it can resonate the opposite way around, so keep that in mind. Virgo, let's take a look at the energy of the person that you are thinking about. The Queen of Wands. <coughs> okay. So you're thinking about somebody perhaps who's a, a fire sign, a uh, Leo, Aries or Sagittarius. Or you're thinking of somebody who's embodying all of the good aspects of the Queen of Wands. That uh, being right uh, and, well, confidence really, I should say, more than, more than anything else. And the ability to create. You know what I'm getting? What are you getting? I'm getting that uh, the person that you are focused on here, Virgo, is thinking of somebody else. Who pot potentially is a fire sign male or female, a Sagittarius, Aries or Leo. So let's see where this goes. It, it could go either way. Now what they bring to the table when it comes to you is the world in reverse. So you feel that something has been left incomplete. Without closure. Something that you feel is unfinished in some way. You haven't put closure or you, you feel like a, that closure hasn't been put on this this issue. Let's look at the floor. The hanged man. Okay. So as a floor, the hanged man, it it perhaps means that 
you've sacrificed something you shouldn't have sacrificed because that's what the hangman is, is often about well I feel that this as the energy of the person that you're you're thinking of here Leo and and and, and their floor with the hangman I feel that they have sacrificed they have sacrificed something and you see it as a flaw that makes more sense it's probably it's probably a past partner mm. and they probably sacrificed for a relationship with you yeah the, and now their focus is on somebody else on, yes the queen of wands here so some somebody who's a fire sign possibly yeah yeah I think yes you're right Michelle that makes a that makes a whole lot more sense let's take a look and see how they're viewing you Virgo this person the four of pentacles in reverse so with this this is their innermost thoughts as it relates to you Virgo so this has been a release here a letting go of something that was once valuable yeah it's something that that may have been a, a long-term partnership there was stability at one time is what I'm getting here but now they are viewing it as something to release. I see both of these cards as cards of release, surrendering something, not wanting, not holding on tightly to anything. That's right. Let's see how you're viewing them, Virgo. The fool in reverse. So you see them as someone who has done something perhaps foolish. a bit foolish or reckless. You don't think that they have done the the right thing you may have felt that this person took a spontaneous action something that you view as well really it's all about a perception of of this person of of what they've done as being reckless, reckless. Mm -hmm. let's look at the strength of your relationship the ace of wands so with this one, it is about, uh, I feel, attraction uh, as a strength, yeah. So it does speak about, I don't feel like it's, well, well let me, I want to see the weakness here before I go in on that one. The sun in reverse, so it's, okay, now I get it. I think you want a new beginning here Virgo a, a restart of something that has ended in the past the weakness however is that you, you're not seeing things clearly things are not illuminated you're in this energy here of I want to say keeping yourself focused on something that you want to reignite, have, an, have another start with, an, a new beginning about, but this one speaks about, it's actually blocking your happiness, this, this, need this, this want for a new start, a new start with this, this person. Mm. Okay, let's have a look at the potential. The Knight of Swords. The roadblock is the Hermit, which is your card, Virgo. So I think you're blocking your own movement away from this. Yeah, I think the Hermit also can indicate that the need to do some inner work. Yeah. To, to gain gain yeah. wisdom, where yeah. perhaps there, there hasn't been wisdom in the past. Mm. So that you can take action and move away from yeah whatever whatever it is that you want to actually restart here I think it has a lot to do with this card which speaks about lacking in a feeling that that, you, that there's something about you that is unacceptable in some way and this is preventing you from going too deep taking those moments of quiet reflection here and really bringing about that clarity because I get that that what's needed here is very much clear thinking when it comes to to this I, I get a lot of 
work that needs to be done on gaining wisdom, knowledge about yourself more than anything. And I do feel that what is blocking you from moving forward? What's blocking you from taking this action? Well, it's, it's the need to gain wisdom and knowledge to get that clarity. Because while you keep yourself in this feeling of, oh, this person's done a foolish thing, I want them back again, and maybe expecting them to, to come back, because I, I do get that energy here as well. It, it seems like you're blocking your own movement because I get this other person has released this, has let it go. Let's look at the outcome. Okay, well, the Six of Wands. Now, in your case, I see it's victory, victory over your circumstances, victory over during this transition period yeah, yeah it's but it's victory in getting that transition moving yes and, and get, finish yeah. and finishing the transition finishing the transition because i get for you this card goes really deep you know and, and so the energy that I, that I get around this, it is the number one card. So it's, it's very much the energy of new beginnings, starting over. Yeah, as it is with usually number one in any deck. Yeah, but it's about creating that for yourself as well. Mm. You know, the thing is, you, you can't try and fit into a situation that isn't going to fit you anymore it's like trying to, to fit a, a square peg in a round hole and I feel that's what you're trying to do at the present time trying to fit into a circumstance that, that is not for you anymore and it's due to a feeling of rejection somehow feeling unacceptable in some way but I feel like this has led you to struggle to fit into an environment that doesn't fit you anymore. The thing is, what I get is that you need to find people or a relationship where you will be accepted for all of your, 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 your good and bad points, and everyone has them. But I feel for you that there has been quite a lot of focus on the negative here, on, on what you view as unacceptable in some way, or what you think that maybe that this person left because they found it unacceptable. Well, that doesn't mean that, that other people will find it unacceptable. It may not have fit them, but that just tells me that this was not the right person for you, Virgo. So let's get one more card here. It's quite a, uh, you know, I like the Six of Wands for you because it, it's about recognition for, for your hard work, for you putting the work in, on, on movement, moving away from this. But I, I just feel like you're not quite there yet. You're still in this awkward transitional phase. So let's see, what is this Six of Wands for Virgo? Okay. Seven of Cups in reverse. Yeah, it's about seeing the reality of the situation. Yeah, and no longer being looking looking at things through rose colored glasses. Yeah. Or um, or just just plain being more realistic and less 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 fantasy. Yeah, I I feel like for those that have been hung up or, or stuck on on wanting to reignite something that is no longer fitting that no longer fits either one of you, trying to fit into something that is, is not gonna work. In order for you to, to gain success, to feel accomplished, I, I feel there's a need to really go within here and look very realistically at your circumstances and the circumstances of this other person. Recognize that they have released you. It doesn't really matter why, because I feel the most important part for you is to get th this, this clarity in realizing that the only way to go 
to get this success is by moving on not keeping yourself stuck in this transitional mode but instead focusing on Or getting through to the end of the transition. Getting through the end of the transition and succeeding. That's right. Well, I mean, the fact that you're in transition is a good thing. It's, yeah. It beats being at the very beginning and needing to make the transition. So yeah. So you're halfway across the bridge right. rather than at the beginning of it. Yeah, and I think for you, instead of daydreaming, instead of fantasizing about this person mm -hmm. or fantasizing about anything really it's about getting out there and actually doing it is how I am viewing this card you'll have success if you actually stop the stop fantasizing and actually go out there and achieve something new a new start not with this person but a new start for something better, something that someone who will be accepting, and and I keep getting warts and all here, accepting of your your good and and bad parts. So I'll leave it there for you, a Virgo, and wish you all the very best with this. If this is resonating and you'd like your own personal, he said, she said, you can email me, gypsyinsights at gmail dot com. The cost is thirty five dollars for a twenty minute reading with Richard and I. I also have my 2019 12-month year ahead forecasts up on my Vimeo channel. The link for those are below, so if you'd like to check out what 2019 may have in store for you or someone around you, uh, you can check uh, that out. That's in the description box. So wishing you all the best with this, Virgo. Thank you, Virgo. Goodbye, good luck. <laughs>